What's up guys? I'm back. It's been like a year since I've been out on a backpacking trip. Been too long. But uh, we're back here in the Dolly Sods. We was here two years ago. Really liked it, so we're back. And I have some company. I have Jason Wu. Is that how you say the last name? <laughs> Wall. Wall. <Yeah. laughs> backpacking with Jason. Uh, yeah. And I have Tim Watson with me, like always. <laughs> Alright, so we're about six, seven miles in probably, roughly, not really sure, but uh, we're just cruising along here on Red Creek Trail, and the goal is to uh, head out to Lion's Head tonight, and then camp up in the pines at Lion's Head, so we're probably roughly a little over halfway of what we need to go, but so far it's been pretty good. It's been dry out here in the Dolly Sods, which is kind of unusual, but good trip so far. Water. We've been on this water adventure for about an hour, walking all around trying to find water. For some reason, we, we missed where we were originally going to get water, and so we just kind of kept pushing on. Thought we were going to get water at the forks, and it's a little bit drier here this year, so we've kind of been just walking around looking for water. But we finally found the river, not to refuel on some water. Check out my channel, it's Backpacking with Jason. A lot of backpacking stuff, a lot of Kentucky, uh, Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee. And I've been trying to get out west, do something out that way, and a lot of East Coast backpacking. What about West Virginia? You got that oh, West, West Virginia, too, right? I think West Virginia. <laughs> this place is beautiful. Yeah. What a spot to have a uh, good water break and fill up some water. We're going to go a mile and a half, two miles up to the top. We'll see Lion's Head. We're having a great time with Josh and Tim. Hopefully catch up with uh, Stereo Folk Hog here in a little bit. Enjoy Lion's Head. Enjoy a good, beautiful night. Enjoy these fall colors. Couldn't be more happier than being out here. And my water filter doesn't work. <laughs> so luckily I'm out here with some other guys. I use Jason's water filter to uh, fill up. But my water filter is pretty much a brand new Sawyer squeeze. But clogged up, I guess, I don't know. Tried to back flush it. It's kind of working, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we came a different way to go to Lion's Head and we are pretty much climbing up the side of uh, Lion's Head. I think Lion's Head is actually right there and we're coming up underneath of it and climbing these rocks. Kind of fun, maybe a little sketchy, but we'll make it. <laughs> What do you guys think? Fun, but different. <laughs> well, we made it up here to Lion's Head the hard way. But we are here. Over there. We will go around to the other side, get the good view of it. <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> and there it is. Look at that view. Lion's Head. That's incredible. Yeah. It's my first fall cover I've seen this year. Really? Yeah. And look who we found. <laughs> we have Adam. Yeah. Adam found us, really. Yeah. <laughs> we were kind of lost. <laughs> it's a two liter one? Oh, uh, no, it's just a liter. This is a liter. And it is two liters. Is I two thought liters. it was just a liter. Okay. They're little. Uh, it's time to eat, guys. <laughs> no cook. <laughs> I don't know how I to mean, take that. They're business. Morning guys, day two, we're out here on Lion's Head, trying to catch the sunrise. There's not much of a sunrise going on back behind me. It's a little bit cloudy, it's super windy out, but uh, maybe we'll see something, I don't know. Sit out here and hang out for a while. It's beautiful either way. Last night was a good night. Got to camp, set up, had a fire, ate, and just kind of hang out with everybody. So, good night, ready for another good day. Morning Jason, how'd you sleep? Good, the wind kept pushing me. I had to get like an extra pillow or put it so it would bother me on there, but 
Yeah, yeah pretty good. Super, some, super windy. Put some earplugs in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, we're back on trail. Came down from Lion's Head and we're on Big Stone Coal Trail. It's kind of walking through the woods right now, but on the other side of the sides here, this side actually gets really pretty. Do some ridge walking and it really opens up. See a lot of things, the colors are popping over there. One of my favorite parts of the Dolly Sods is this other side. So I'll talk to you guys when we get over there. Stopping, taking a little bit of a short break right here at this water waterfall. Just kind of taking in the scenery, it's pretty, relaxing, enjoying the day. Starting to open back up over here. This side of the dolly sides. Um, the bad news is, I think the rain's rolling in. Pretty breezy, a little bit of thunder, and some raindrops. So I think we're actually walking right into the oncoming storm. Maybe we'll avoid it. We'll see. And it's raining. Well, since it's raining, we decided to pull off from this little campsite, go ahead and eat some lunch, take a little break. So we just kind of let the rain blow through. It's not really raining hard, but just let it blow through and take a break. What are you having for lunch, Jason? Lemon pepper. With Tuna. Heck yeah. Delicious, man. And this is like, uh, tastes like uh, buffalo wings. They have that flavoring, but it's just pretzels. Sweet. Yes, I like that. Tim, what are you having? Um, some beef jerky, some of these nut squares. Adam? Some beef jerky. The good beef jerky. Can't go wrong with beef jerky. <laughs> Done with lunch. Back on the trail. I think we only actually got like four miles, something like that, Jason, to camp. Yeah, about four miles. Yeah, yeah about four miles to camp. So. We're just gonna kind of mosey along kind of slow because it's still really early. It's only like, it's like noon. So we're gonna take our time. Sun's out again. So hopefully we'll get some good scenery coming up. We're about ready to walk along the ridge here. Okay, so we're to the point in the day where we're pretty much just looking for a campsite. We've about completed the whole loop. Um, we have a campsite in mind, same campsite we stayed at last time we were here. It's really nice, it's right beside a stream. And at that point, we would only have about a mile and a half hike out in the morning. But we have seen a ton of people today. So finding campsites may be kind of hard, but We'll see what happens. A rock. Where? <laughs> Holy smokes, there's some rocks out here. Elevation's easy, yo. <laughs> Made it to camp, day two. This is the same campsite that we stayed at two years ago when we were here in the Sods. It's a pretty nice campsite. It's uh, right here beside the river. Some people camping over beside us, but uh, I got this first campsite right here, kind of all to myself, and then Jason's down just a little bit, and Tim's just down a little bit um, from him. Let's take a look at the setups. All right, so there's my setup. That is the Tarp Tent Pro Trail. And for my gear, 
I have the Hammock Gear Burrow 30, the X-Therm sleep pad, and the Philo pillow. Makes a big difference on the ground. Superior Wilderness Frameless 35 pack. And there's Jason's site. He's set up just a little bit down for me. I'll let him tell you about his setup. I love my setup. It's comfortable. Never thought you could sleep so good in the woods. I mean, my dream hammock, under quilts, Cuban fiber tarp. It's just dreamy, as they say, as I sleep so good at night. I love that little spot over there. I feel like I'm still in the woods. I hear the water running. We'll sleep good tonight. Tim is kind of down here, kind of tucked in the woods all by himself. Back here, Tim is rocking his normal setup. Dream hammock, X-Therm sleep pad, and the mini fly. So that is Tim's setup. Looking good. All right, so that's our camp, guys. Jason's already kind of gathered up some firewood, so maybe we'll have a fire here in the fire ring for a little bit. Kind of hang out, get some good sleep tonight, and then we got like a mile and a half hike out in the morning, so we'll be up and out of here fairly early. We've got fire. Good way to chill out and end the night. Best TV. Sure is. All right, so Jason, this is your first time in Dolly Sods, right? My first time in Dolly Sods. What'd you think of the Dolly Sods? Well, we've done about 20 miles, and the views I was really, really impressed with. I had way beyond my expectations of the views, the big open areas, the vistas, lion's head. It was absolutely excellent. The areas that we went around, I never seen any trash. I didn't see, like, cans or you know just trash anywhere it's very clean forest very very enjoyable this has been a relaxing very enjoyable trip very uh the scenery spectacular i recommend this to anybody dolly sods except we didn't go on what's that one row of the trails dobbin grave we didn't go on dobbin grave because it's supposed to be real muddy so <laughs> i'm always good for that but what we went around which i think is called the bear rock bear rock the trail? He had the loop. It was called on um, all trails. I think it's called the Bear. What's where's the parking lot called? Bear Rock. Bear Rock Lion's Head Loop. If you oh. look at it on all trails, it'll have it. It's a 21 mile loop. Highly, highly recommend it. Been a great time. It was fun. Tim Watson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It was fun. Had a really good time. My favorite part probably was my favorite. Even though we've done it before, it was going up Lion's Head for sure just because we took that more adventurous way and I wish we had filmed more but we were so focused on actually like free climbing up pretty close to the face of Lion's Head but that was like hands down like one of my favorite things to do I'm glad that we, we even though it was a mistake we still did it because it was that it was, was enjoyable mine too yeah. you know the part of climbing up the Lion's Head is very exciting yeah I, I, the, when you got up you know we was climbing up the rocks and you could kind of see the top it was like, oh man, this is awesome. And it was totally all off trail, the climbing, yeah. the lion's head, that was. Josh almost got bit by a snake. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I did. <laughs> so, uh, enough to make my heart stop. Blood pumping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was super cautious after that. I was like, okay, there's gonna be snakes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but when we was going around that part, we just kind of knew lion's head was up there. Yeah. So we were just kind of hovering our way, and then the rock scramble was very, very exciting. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. With packs on. With packs on. And yeah. water. And yeah. full of water. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks guys. Yeah. You got it. Alright guys, so that's their take on it. Um, this is my second time in Dolly Sods. It's been a great trip. It's uh, my first backpacking trip back in a year. I haven't actually been on a real trip since last July when we went to Utah. So it feels good to be back out on the trail. I missed it. Second time in the Dolly Sods. Beautiful trip. First time hiking with Jason. Had a great time. We've had great conversation. <laughs> and uh, and like they said, it's th been quite the adventure. We took a different route up to uh, Lion's Head and it was, it was quite the challenge to say the least, but it, it was interesting. And I'm glad we went that way because it, even though it was a little bit sketchy, but it was pretty fun made for a good adventure. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up 
and uh, I'm not going to film tomorrow. I said we got like a mile and a half hike out, and uh, it's really not going to be much to film. So going to head out, hit the car, get some food, and then I got to get home and pick up the kids. Dad life. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thanks for watching.